Hello, this is Harold Harper. Listen, there are a couple of things that we need to get clear. First, I'm not running this op. I was asked in strictly to consult. No one here knows that I'm speaking with you right now. There's a good chance I'm violating several laws by doing so, which should earn me a little latitude, does it? No. All right. The second thing, then, is that I need you to go to your car right now. I need to explain to you how I just called you on a phone that you believed was clean and untraceable. When you get to the car, take a look underneath, passenger side, rear wheel well. Apparently, we can match the transponder's location to the location of the phone moving with it, and then reverse engineer the number. That one surprised me. I didn't know that was a thing we could do. I tell you this partly to remind you that you have no idea how different the game is than the last time you played it. And partly because you've got about three minutes before they're on top of you. I'm not looking at the transponder feed, so let me know when you're driving. We can talk further. I'm moving. I understand you lost your wife. Yeah, a few years back. Cancer? Huntington's disease. Oh, that's, that's awful. I'm sorry. I appreciate that. It's been a very long time since I've heard your voice. Oh. Strange experience. Frankly, I'd imagine you were dead. <laughs> no. I just retired. I, uh... I read about your son and daughter-in-law in the paper. Thought about reaching yeah. out, but, uh, you know. I assume that you can see the tail by now, right? As far as I can tell, these are specialists. They're supposed to be very good, so I keep my distance. Now, let me tell you where I am. I'm watching about a half a dozen high-end contract operators fail at blending into Caledonia County Airfield, loitering around their chartered jet. Their op is not to kill you, it's to retrieve you and put you on that plane. No one will tell me where it's headed or why, but as I sit here imagining nightmare scenarios, I'm aware that with a full tank of gas, that plane can be in Kabul tomorrow afternoon without touching the ground. The nightmare scenario is that Faraz Hamzad wants to see you again convinced someone in the U.S. government to make that happen. Why are you telling me this? Why are you warning me? Because the scenario is a nightmare for you, but it's pretty shitty for me, too. This story comes back to life, and I'm going to have to answer for some things that were dead and buried in the ground yesterday. Right now, I'm willing to aid and abet your escape to prevent that. Now, I know you well enough to know you're building a list of options soon you're going to realize there are only two. Number one, you engage, go to ground, figure out how to fight back. You go through that door and I'm here to tell you it's going to end badly because the first thing that's going to happen is this will become my operation and I'm going to have to put you down. I wouldn't be so sure about that.